All right, people. We are at the 2261 Smith. As you can tell, she's a nice big plant. Hopefully nice big plants produce nice big pumpkins and it is decision day. D-Day as I like to call it. This is the day as a giant pumpkin grower you will second guess yourself all year long. We have two decisions. Do we go with choice number B or do we go with choice number A? I don't freaking know. But choice must be made. You can't wait forever. Figure it out. Figure it out here in a second. But before we go over there and make a decision on 2261, because that has to be cut off, we're at the 2356 Smith. And we got two pumpkins on this one Pumpkin B, Pumpkin A. Pumpkin A is a couple days older than Pumpkin B. So I think Pumpkin B we're going to set up under just because it's an easier one to get to for me. That's really my only decision between the two. So we'll set up underneath this one here and then um, we'll do that today and I probably will cut Pumpkin A off a little bit later. So there she is. She's looking good. Cobra heads are still out. They're still firing off. So all right, let's go make a freaking decision on the Smith's plant. All right, well, had to remove this. Can't go with that one. We're setting up with that girl right there. As you can see, I already got some side vines growing very well. I like my side vines. That's what made the decision easy for me. When you got side vines coming off of it like that, it means that these are gonna fill in pretty dang well. That one's a good one. That's a really good one. We have another one going there and there's another one under that leaf there. So. They all look good coming off of my secondary vine. I guess this is treacherary. So these are all gonna fill in my space here. So got good ones there. Also have very good ones on that vine there. So decision was pretty easy for me, but uh, pumpkin looks good. She's growing good. She's around day 13 today, 20 some inches around. Nothing fast, but some of mine don't always grow fast, so I ain't worried about that one bit. I like the look of the plant. Pumpkin will follow. So we just need to get her all set up. Same as in years past, I use my dirt blanket. We're gonna slide that girl right underneath of it. Then I put my foam on top of my dirt blanket. Then I put sand down. That's the way I've done it for several years now. Use the dirt blanket to pull it right out of the greenhouse. If it ain't fix, broken, don't fix it. All right, let's get her set up. Okay, insert cliche here. We are set up, we are all in. It is what it is. The fat lady hasn't sung yet, but maybe she will soon, who the heck knows. But there we are. We are set up, the plant looks great, the pumpkin looks great. You can see the side vines that I was talking about earlier. They're starting to come in. They'll fill in real nice here. I'm gonna let that one kind of grow around. I'm gonna take this one here, kind of maybe angle it over here, let it fill in like that. And there's the pumpkin. Clean, cleaned up, trimmed up. We'll probably cut, cut that, that one right there, that leaf, probably that next leaf maybe. Uh, won't worry about that. Second leaf, this leaf here, the first one I'll cut off pretty darn soon, so. There she is, 13 day old pumpkin. Not big like I was saying, but it's time to get it set up. <laughs> it's go time, baby, let's do this. A little different setup over here on the 2356 Mindy. I'm gonna give you a good look at that. Here she is, a lot smaller fruit. First ones I didn't like. So this one here, I got the side vine going there. The main vine kind of curled off over there by it. So we're gonna let this one set up like that. I'll cut off these leaves. I also have a backup in there on a side vine. I'll go with that if I like, if I don't like the fruit under here. I have no problem going with that one there. It's got some good, good vines coming off of that. It's got a good location. I gotta be able to pull it out the door. So a lot of my setup relies on where I'm at on the plant because of how 
I need to get the pumpkin out of here. Let's assume this is gonna be a 2,500 pounder. That's what we hope for. You gotta have a way of getting it out. So there it is. She's right there. We're gonna watch her for the next, probably next weekend is when I'll make the decision on her. So if this one here looks good. If I like the shape of it and it's growing decent, we'll go with that one. If not, then I need to get it set up underneath that one. So we'll kind of watch this one throughout the week and see what happens. Great looking plant though. Let's go, baby!